Yo, yo, it's ODB from OLP. This is Truckin' Magazine, March of 97, so I think 25 years ago, this past spring. This is one of my favorite issues in cover trucks, and I just randomly went over today on lunch and grabbed this off the rack. Speaking of rack. And I figured, hell, let me go through it. Uh, this feature truck, rather. I'm not going to go through the whole issue. You can see down here, it was still McMullen Argus Publishing. And you can see, first look, Dodge Sidewinder concept vehicle. Kind of reminds me of the SS. What is it? The Chevy truck they did like that. HHR. I was going to say SSR, but... Um, this is a cool uh, cover. Kevin Wilson shot it. CGS Motorsports was involved as well as Steve Stanford did the rendering, I believe it was. And then Santini, the OG, laid down these graphics. Super clean truck. And it was of the era when, you know, not everything had to be a V8. Uh, this has a, a six-cylinder and a Phantom Grill. Super clean graphics. Colorado Custom Tell You Rides. Dude, what more to ask for than this thing? Um, when you would flip to the TOC or Table of Contents, I would like sometimes when they would do this, um, they would basically take the chute and they would fill it in with the, you know, the contents, which I thought was cool. Here you have the lovely Cindy, and I believe it's Pucci. I had a friend named Mucci, M-U-C-C-I, so I'm thinking Pusey. And um, you see Ruben Perez, that's his 9.3 Chevy. And it says, uh, courtesy of Managing Editor Brian McCormick. So, yeah, I might stand corrected. I thought Brian shot it. And then when I looked at the feature right before this, I, I thought it said Kevin Wilson. So it does seem to me <laughs> like a BMC. Brian McCormick. So let's take a look here. And I may have just looked at that wrong. But see here, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. The world may never know. Kevin Wilson. See what I'm saying? I did my due diligence, right? So maybe it was an, an, a t t table of contents error. Uh, this is by Kevin, B O A L E S. Super clean shoot. This feature talks about it was at SEMA 9 6. And um, it talks about, too, that it was it was stolen. And that's where the title Back From Dead came. And again, I liked how they would take the color scheme and or potential graphics and they would lace it. I mean, this, this might be basic by today's standards, but I think having this side slash front three-quarter shot of the truck, you got a beautiful model out there. Um, and, a, and a great landscape. And then you've got a good title right there in terms of the name of it, but also um, how it just ties into the colors of the truck. I think it's awesome. You got one low Chevy on the plate. Again, the graphics wrap all the way around. And you can just see, you know, by today's standards, very basic. And I don't think there's not one of us that would say, I wouldn't rock this truck. I drive it just the way it is. Again, the Tell You Ride Colorado Custom Wheels. And again, you can see the little thing that they would do here. You got the colors baked in. I mean, just this publication was done really, really well. Of course, they were around a very long time, almost 50 years um, when they ended. But you can see there, uh, Ruben Perez knows that sound because in January 96, that's exactly what happened to his fresh 90 faux Chevy when it was recovered. And so what my assumption was is that if it was recovered, you know, let's say it was stolen 96, um, they end up taking it to SEMA 96. And at first I thought, well, maybe it doesn't really look like the dry beds, but, you know, between SEMA and I'm guessing March 97 is when this was shot. Uh, the cool, th other cool thing is, again, these trucks didn't need to have crazy features. You had two page spread and one more page. I mean... Like I said, you didn't have to have everything, uh, you know, like in terms of a six or eight page spread. Here they talk about Ron and Casey Scranton at CGS Motorsports. Of course, Beltex involved. Pirelli tires. 
You see there, Steve Stanford. He's uh, great to follow on Instagram. And uh, Santini, the OG, we got to get him on. I keep saying that. And then see, boom, TR. Again, so you got a three-page feature. Uh, here was cool, too. You got a, kind of a good three-quarter shot that's in the background, uh, kind of grayed out, if you will. Here they're showing the Phantom Grill, which, again, it was sick when the guys would um, bring that graphic around to where that uh, turn signal typically is at, or typically is at. Here you can see here where it talks about Superior Motorsports. And that rear shot. And then you can see there a little bit better. Santini, and I think it was Stanford as well. It's kind of hard to tell in that shot. Uh, beautiful model again. So I think this one really is one that's probably etched in a good amount of our minds because of the color schemes. I mean, I love the, the choice of colors. They contrasted fantastically. It's a regular cab truck. You know, crew cabs are starting to become popular, but at this point, still in 9.7, 25 years ago, I mean, this was the formula. Bagged or not, it almost didn't matter. Uh, and I think we're getting slowly back to our roots. A lot of guys, including me, would say, dude, I'd rock this thing any day of the week. 100% right here. Uh, ODB, I approve this message. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. Let me know. Did things get out of hand after this? Did mini truckers help push that? I think we did. But rest assured, whatever you're into truck-wise, there's something for everyone, including this. I totally dig this truck. Dig the cover. I'm going to have to ask Brian. Did he shoot it? Did they make an error? What's the deal? Let's get to the bottom of it. You guys have a fantastic weekend. We are cheer. Peace.